Hi, welcome to Record Mix and Master. If you use the Head Linearizer plugin, you may have noticed that it reduces the output level by 9 decibels. This is in order to gain more headroom for the linearization process and to preserve full dynamics. I like to switch between linearizer being active when balancing and mixing and inactive when I'm tracking. This is because Linearizer introduces latency of around 100 milliseconds when it's set to linear full range. And obviously 100 milliseconds of latency is no good when tracking or inputting MIDI. If you simply bypass the Linearizer plugin, you'll get an increase in level of 9 dB. I use Linearizer inserted before Sonarworks Reference 4. As Linearizer is taking care of phase issues, it's important to make sure that Sonarworks is not. So go into the Advanced tab of Reference 4 and set it to zero latency. Now in Ableton, insert a mono utility plugin between Linearizer and Reference 4 and set its gain to minus 9 dB. Be sure to set the width to 100% as you're not using this plugin for mono playback. Bypass the mono utility and unbypass linearizer. Right click on the mono utility bypass button and select edit key map. Now click the bypass button to select it and hit number 1 or any other key on your computer keyboard. Select the linearizer button and also select number 1 or whichever key you chose. Now right click on either bypass button and deselect edit key map. Now whenever you want to switch between linearizer being active or inactive without any change in level, all you have to do is hit number one or whichever number you chose on your keyboard. You can select linearizer, mono utility and reference four, group them together and save as a preset by dragging the group up to your plugins browser. Be sure to bypass them all before you render your track. Thanks for watching.